Hello. Hello, Keep Singing members. I am looking for my little timer gizmo that keeps us all on track. It was just here. There we go. Okay. Keeps all on track. Okay. No. All right. Hopefully we will be good to go today. Thank you very much, everyone, for your flexibility with me over the last several weeks. I, um, we had my mom's memorial service last week on Good Friday, and it was beautiful. I did manage to sing. I sang at her gravesite service, and uh, I sang um, the Lord's Prayer. And then at her memorial service, I sang um, Thomas Matthews's setting of the Lord is my shepherd, the 23rd Psalm. And they both went well. And um, as some of y'all may have experienced like last week, it was so busy going through all her stuff. I didn't cry a lot. I didn't have time. And there was there were too many things to do with family gathering, etc. So this week, I'm a little like, at any moment, <laughs> at any moment, somebody could ask you, how you doing? And I could burst into tears. So um, we could start talking about diaphragmatic breathing today, and I might burst into tears. We'll we'll see. Uh, right now, doing okay. Um, so uh, we have been doing, uh, you have been doing, and learning, and I have been talking about uh, breath support in our last video two weeks ago. Um, our last in, under that whole unit, we started talking about phonation. So we started talking about the how voice is created, how your voice is created in partnership with the whole breath support and amongst all that, the whole apogeo concept and uh, diaphragmatic breathing, isolating the diaphragm. You've been learning the breathing exercises and hopefully that's all moving along. Um, Next week is Q&A week, so please send in your questions. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. If you have a question, chances are excellent someone else has it too. And um, if you don't under singing, y'all, is not rocket science, okay? Uh, I mean, it's the only instrument we cannot see. Think about it. Every other instrument ever is you you see feel touch you can see how it works the voice is inside so we can't see it so it's not well it's not rocket science um it is slightly or seems slightly more mysterious my job is to demystify that for you and help you make it better so uh, make your singing voice better, to feel more confident, and that's why you're here, right? In addition to the amazing company and the community and our amazing website platform, yada, 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 I mean, those are all great, but what you really want is to be comfortable with your voice and have it be better, right? So part of that is asking questions. Ask your questions. There's not a good question because there's not a bad question. So I want you, please, to be unafraid to send me your questions. And I will do my very best to address them all, either in module teaching or in our Q&A time on the second week of the month, or on a, on a major teaching. So if it's something that's just clarification, I'll try to do it on a Q&A day on the second week or on the fourth week of the month, if it seems more appropriate to be like if it's a whole issue that's standing in your way or other people's way, it would be on what's in your way week. Um, weeks one and three are, of course, for teaching something on the module. So um, today, um, we could go a number of ways, uh, but honest to goodness, um, I am, I, I, have, I have a list of things I could cover today uh, it, under the whole category of breathing, breath support and phonation and all those things. Um, but something in my gut was telling me, do some 
voice exercises with everyone. So we're going to, I'm going to talk a little bit about a, a little, not philosophical, practical, a very pragmatic thing about um, voice exercises. And you are, I hope, going to benefit from this time. We're going to do exercises. I'm going to talk about them. And you are going to take your singing notebook, <laughs> which I'm sure you all have, like good little students. Um, remember from the very first uh, website page, you went to the one that gave you the instructions on uh, making, creating your first videos and sending those to me and filling out your questionnaire. And if you haven't done this, go back to the welcome page on our Coaching Genie uh, member platform. Go to the welcome page. Uh, let me just show you where this is at, where this is, so that you have no, you know, question. You don't have to be confused by it. Um, this is, uh, let's see, um, you're going to, uh, let me show you from, I'm sorry, I'm going to log in as my, my fake persona uh, so that you can see what it looks like from your perspective. So this, just ignore this. Here's this, go to the welcome page right there and um, scroll on down. You want to get, let me find it. Hello. You might need to do this question. No. Where is it? Um, well, shoot, maybe that's my, whoa, it wouldn't be the first time I did not do something right. So you're probably all like, what are you talking about? Okay, I'm called out. I've called myself out. Doggone it. You think you have everything all lined up and you just don't. Um, I was wondering why you guys weren't. <laughs> I was wondering why you guys weren't sending me this information. Um, that's not what I want. Um, okay, I will rectify this. Uh, there's, um, oh, maybe this is it. That's not it. Y'all, I apologize. Your teacher, she's a mess. Okay, you think you get all like, fancy and such and nope it, it's uh sometimes your fanciness just works against you so I thought I had created that uh connection point there but I didn't so not gonna go into that I will rectify that you guys will all have that information and uh and I'll make sure everybody knows it uh, but there is a whole questionnaire I want you all to fill out. I want you to send me some videos of yourself singing. Some of y'all have found it. Um, and some of you have not. A lot of you haven't. So uh, I'm going to make sure everybody's got it because I want those videos. And I want your questionnaires filled out. Um, that's why I made them. Why I made the questionnaire. So um, we'll get that down. Okay, so today we're going to do some voice exercises. And we're going to talk about a vocal warm-up vocal warm-up today everybody woo so um let me pull out my trusty little lovely little what do you call this keyboard here and um we'll get going i'm gonna turn on my audio settings and this if we ever meet uh together via zoom then you will turn on either your original sound settings or your live performance audio so i'm going to turn that on so hopefully this will not cut out anything i sustain and the things that i play all right I pull this open here. okay so we're going to start i'm going to start in the middle of the keyboard at middle c and for the gentleman or um, 
And some women with the lowest of voices might jump an, an octave down. Uh, gentlemen, you'll sing down here. Okay. Uh, most people, most, most um, females will can sing here. Okay. Um, once we get to a uh, a point at which you need to drop down, just drop down, drop on down. Eventually, I want you to keep helping yourself, nudging yourself a little bit higher and a little bit lower, okay? And you'll nudge yourself in each direction. When you are warming up, one principle of warming up, though, is to start in the middle of your range, um, start in the middle of your range, use a mezzo uh, voce or mezzo voice, so that is the dynamic level or the, the volume of your voice, medium, you are not going for loud, you're not going for soft either, neither one. You are simply warming your voice using a medium level voice. Um, and you don't go to the extreme ends of your voice either when you're warming up. You stay octave and a half range. If your range is an octave and a half when you're starting out, you don't go the full octave and a half. Stay in the range that uh, is very comfortable then uh, at the beginning, and then you work yourself outwards toward your terminal points. Uh, what are currently your terminal points? We're going to start first with some five note descending scales. Um, what I mean by that is very simple. So um, we are going to start with that, and we're just going to do it to begin with on Lu. Now, why I'm starting with descending scales is um, this kind of, This was something that I just picked up from another vocal pedagogue a couple months ago, maybe six months ago, and I've been obsessed with the whole concept. Because <laughs> I was like, you know what? She's right. Um, and, uh, and the reason is when you... Uh, Start with a descending scale. Now, the descending scales have their own issues, let me just say that. But uh, when you start with a descending scale, your, your uh, vocal muscles tend not to grab. You tend uh, not to strain much to get it. It seems, it feels very emotionally, mentally comfortable to do them. Um, when we start from the very beginning, 
doing something like an arpeggio or something like that um, or even even something like that when we're going up uh, we tend to assign mentally a, a little more tension and feel a little more nervous about going up and um, it's it's subconscious and we tend to grab just a bit so um, we don't want that we want to be completely relaxed now um, if you are a more advanced singer and you've already kind of gotten past the aspect of any kind of tension about being high or low you already understand how you approach that as a singer and that it is not an issue for you you can probably start with something that involves uh, ascending as well as descending so apply this as pertains to you if you're more of a beginner i would encourage you to start with five note descending scales or some other type of descending scale um, now we're going to do some eight note descending scales eight notes also known as octave just think of octopus an octopus has eight arms octave is eight tones or eight notes so we're going to do eight note descending scales and um, again on lu okay remember we're just warming up so this is gentle and easy mezzo varte blah 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 okay here we go back down up when I go down I'm sorry my piano was definitely an add-on for me um, I took the perfunctory <laughs> well, I don't know how a couple of years when I was a kid fought my, my mom all the time about practicing and didn't really and then she let me quit and I just sang and I kept going on that way until I started playing by ear during my very late 20s early 30s um, and I've been ever since kind of a slow self-study ever since then what got me playing piano really was people asking me to teach them piano when they would hear me playing by ear so I realized um, you know that I liked doing that um, but uh, I needed to know more also as a young professional singer y'all I couldn't read music uh, so I was in some very embarrassing situations um, where I could not rely on going off to learn it by myself um, and uh, uh, but my directors would find out that I had to do that I would have to sit and poke around on the piano or get a recording of it and back then there weren't a quintillion bajillion Googleplex number of things on the internet because there wasn't an internet yet or it was in the super early stages so um oh, there was an internet but it was it was really 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 developmental um 
so because I started singing professionally when I was in college. So uh, that was, let's just say it was in the early days, the Paleolithic computer era. So um, I do want to encourage you uh, to learn to read music. And we're going to cover some of that in the Keep Singing program. We'll keep adding on to your skill set to increase your confidence because I will tell you that every little tidbit that I learned in terms of understanding reading music, which is just, it's called music theory, um, it increased my confidence level. It increased my skill level at learning to sing. So um, I, I am, I'm a, I'm a fan. I'm convinced it's gonna help you too. So um, let's do another couple of, of uh, vocal warm-ups. Um, you're gonna write, remember, you're gonna write these down in your singing notebook. <clears throat> you're, you've hopefully got your exercise tracker all printed out. If not, go into the files area, find that file, download it, print it out, or in whatever manner you like to operate. If you want to keep it digitally, make yourself a copy so that you can then add your exercises. So those first ones we've done so far are five note descending scales and eight note descending scales, and they are best used for warming up. You'll notice in the file that there are two types of exercises that I have trackers for. One is your vocal warm-ups, and this will go on, th those will go on that list. Um, then there is vocal workout exercise. Those are goal specific and as you learn different um, vocal warm-up and vocal workout exercises, whatever they may be, add them to your tracker. Write a little description that you can remember it by. Remember why you're using it, what it does for you, what it accomplishes for you. Some of them, it might be as basic as warms my mid-range really well, um, warms my upper range really well, or um, helps me uh, hear my high notes better or um, um, helps me control my breath in my lower range, whatever. It's going to be some purpose that it serves for you so that when you're designing your daily practice you and you have your focus for that month, you can pick exercises that work well for you that month. Um, to work on and design your daily practice based on those things, based on what uh, the exercise accomplishes. If I'm not explaining this well, please let me know. Let me know. Send me uh, a note that's a, 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 an email or a Q&A thing or whatever that says, please clarify about blah, blah, whatever it is, okay? Because if I'm not explaining it well, uh, it's likely because I'm exhausted from last week, today in particular, but in general, um, if you don't understand something, it's, it's not because you're dumb. It's because I haven't explained it correctly. It's on me. Okay, so I never want you to take that on you. Um, like, unless you're doing 10 other things, you have 85 tabs open. Guilty sometimes. I'm guilty sometimes. But um, if you are distracted and you're not focused, that's on you. But if, if you're listening and you're paying attention and you're not understanding, that's on me. So I want you to ask me to clarify, okay? All right, you are free and freed up and empowered to use the, the word that everybody keeps like throwing around and trashing these days, but um, you are. I want you to feel like you can advocate for yourself and say, I didn't understand this section. Please clarify for me. Um, please, I'll get you a long way with me. <laughs> so that was blah. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do um, some, uh, some things to help us locate intervals. Great for ear training. Okay, so this is both warm up and also ear training. So again, um, lower voices can drop the octave down. That, but we're gonna, I'm gonna do them at middle C. And again, remember we're warming up. So we're gonna, the pattern is this. One, three, two, Tonic soul fa, if that's your language. It's do, re, do, re, re, fa, re, so, fa, re, do. Okay, so if that helps you, bully. Okay, so. There's our pattern again. 
All right, let's cut. We're going to do this again because we're learning. We're going to do it on loop. You're able to change these up to whatever syllables you want. You can do them on ma, uh, change the vowel around, ma, me, mi, mo, or mu. Um, you can change the consonant too, na, ne, ni, no, or nu, like na, 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 or ne, 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 and do whole sets based on these things, kind of based on whatever it is you're trying to accomplish with your voice. For learning, we're going to just use Lou. Try it for now. I want you to feel like you are free to move. You are free to move. You're at home for one thing, but anytime, dancing is not, I mean, sorry, singing is not a static activity. Our bodies were made to respond to music, I believe. So I want you to feel, don't, maybe don't dance to the point of distraction or exhaustion just yet, you know, or to the point where you can't focus on what you're doing. But movement with your body, uh, gospel choirs, got some about it. I mean, come on. So uh, feel free to move. All right. Let's do um, one. I think that we have. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten the warning signal yet, but um, hopefully. Uh, that's, that's the timer. Okay. Don't know. It hasn't given me the warning sign. Um, my timer's about to go off, but that doesn't mean we're out of time. 
So, um, but we are gonna do, um, I want you to feel and hear what an octave is. So we're gonna do one arpeggio. All right, so that's our time stop. Okay, we'll just, I'll keep that going so that I can see how far over we are. So I want you to feel where an octave is, where a third, a fifth, and an octave are. So the best way to do that, or one way to do that, is with some slides. So we're gonna do some third, fifth, and octave slides. And well, let's do them just on ooh. Uh, we're gonna slide from our one to the three, back to the one. If you need to breathe at any point during these, please do. Your goal will be to get through the whole little set without taking any extra breaths. And you will get there, you will. Uh, you will, you will, you will. If you're practicing your breathing exercises, and by the time you are to number three breathing exercise, which remember, you're, you're taking some time to get there because you're building coordination and skill and strength of the muscles. But you will be able to get through this. This isn't that long in the scheme of things. Um, but you, uh, you can take up, up to that until you can do it. Breathe when you need to, but try to limit yourself to one or two breaths that you're sneaking in one or two breaths. So, um, but here is how they will go. So one, three, one, five, one, eight, one, all right? And by sliding, we'll be able to kind of hear every pitch we can make along the way. And you'll also feel the consonants with the um, uh, sound waves that are coming out of your computer and the, the sound waves that you're created, you want you, you're creating as you as you hum or sing. Um, we're gonna do it on ooh, just to keep it kind of real simple. And uh, I want you to hear for and feel for that consonants. C O N S O, not consonants like D, F, and G, but like consonants like as in in concurrence with one another. So the sound waves should be tracking with one another from your computer and with from your body. So they should be going at the same frequency and you feel that in your bones and in your nervous system, you feel that. So um, here we go, we're gonna do Okay, let's do that again together. If you will do these daily, these and the other ones daily in the beginning, if you have, you're just starting to practice um, and just as you're, if you're a beginner singer or um, intermediate, you're going to have more of a collection of things. But if you're a beginner, do these every day. You're going to improve your, your ear and your accuracy with pitch. Um, 
you're going to improve your tone, you're going to improve your breath support, you're going to do all kinds of things. So, um, and as you get better and better and better at them, and your voice sounds better and better, it's going to improve your confidence. So, uh, which is huge. That's huge. Um, with confidence, as one of my students, uh, actually there were two, they were sisters, um, uh, their dad said with confidence, potential is endless, really. So, um, do them every day, y'all. Do them every day. Use the recording. Um, if you are a pianist or other instrumentalist, um, you can do them with your instrument, as long as it's not a wind instrument, of course. Uh, I'm going to turn off my live performance audio. Uh, please do send in your, your questions. Send me any requests for specific... If you are already to the point where you're designing your daily vocal practice and you need specific exercises for specific goals that you have um send send me the request like i need a, an exercise for blah 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 and um, i can either create one for you or i can send you one i i know that it's already clearly explained um on the internet from a pedagogue that i am comfortable with that i um, have either studied from myself or have followed and know that they're legit okay because not not all are not all are um many are well-intentioned but even some of my own past voice teachers were well-intentioned and could sing well but did not understand um a lot of the vocal production aspect and would teach me a few things they taught me a few things that were not healthy um and uh were some were, were just downright wrong and uh, in terms of actual vocal production, etc. Uh, so I want you to learn healthy things and correct things. And so um, I will do my very best to provide you with um, exercises that support your goals um, according to what you are trying to achieve or your vision with your voice. Okay, y'all, have a wonderful week. See you next week for Q&A time.